my loves welcome back to another design today i am going to show you something really cool we are going to do coloring in decals how to make the outlined decals that are on our website look super awesome and just personalize them and make everyone think that you have done the best free hand work in the entire world so let's get on with our base color we're going to be using madame glam's food coma which is what i was in yesterday on my birthday because i had a chinese takeaway and I woke up this morning with sincere regrets and acid heartburn. So <laughs> we're going to do two layers of food coma on each nail. I'll just give you a quick shifty at the first coat. But I won't make you watch it all because you would be bored. There we go, as if by magic, two coats on each nail. Now, these decals, I've already been playing around because I was looking at different colour combos. These are on the website. They're created by Zara. She's amazing. And yeah, you can get them. There's loads on a sheet. Like I said, I've been having a good old play around with loads of different ones. Um, so yeah, they're only £3.20. Go grab them. Or you can get the bundles and get a load of them, different ones, and get a discount. So we're just going to cut around the edge of that. Just leave a little bit round it. Honestly, this is so easy. Thank goodness Zara and Shelley, my ambassadors, actually told me about this method. Because I had no idea. I couldn't do it. I'm going to stick that onto my stamping jelly thing, right? Just make sure it's clean first. And then get a bit of water on your finger and just dab it on there. Just dab. Okay. And then leave that for about 20 seconds, right? That's it. And then I just took a little lint-free pad to soak up some of that water. And then peel off the backing. There you go. Any water on there, just kind of dab it gently. And there we are. So I'm going to use gel paint because it's highly pigmented. I've got Madame Glam's red and gold gel paints. And I'm going to be using the finest detailer brush that I have, which is from Dorota Politska. And it is her super duper fine detailer brush. It's teeny tiny. It's perfect for this kind of thing. So first I'm going to take the gold and I'm just going to do that little catch there. And all I'm doing is I'm painting in the lines but make sure you go up to the line because you need it to look full and otherwise there'll be a little gap. And keep flash curing, otherwise the gel can bleed out as well. So keep flash curing. Then I'm going to go in with the red and do the first couple of stripes. So yes, it's fiddly. Yes, you need a steady hand, but I could not freehand paint a bauble that looked that neat. <laughs> okay I just couldn't and there's some other ones on that sheet with loads of little sections that if you wanted to you could make it look super duper detailed and really really cool and just wow your clients it's amazing potentially I wonder if you could actually once you've cured these if you could top coat them and then keep them in a little pot or something and then just plop them on the nail you know just have some ready made up try it let me know we've got other outline shapes as well loads of different ones so the the um possibilities are endless for creativity you can really put your own spin on them and make it look like super super cool artwork so as you can see i am going right up to that line and i'll periodically turn the stamper over to check the underneath and see what it looks like i'll show you in a second it's a really good way to check that you have filled in enough of in between the lines and that you haven't got any gaps. So if you just look through it like that, you see how cool does that look? <laughs> Give it a quick cure and then I'm going to go in and finish the bottom bit of red. I've had a few people asking if the Christmas boxes are still available. Yes, they are. We restocked everything. We had a massive restock. So yes, they are still available. I've also had people asking, are we going to do this again? Yes, we're going to do this again. In fact, obviously the Christmas box was big and grand. We are going to do a box in January, which is going to be smaller, more um, budget friendly. And um, we'll put out some details about that very, very shortly. So once that's cured, I'm going to go in with the gold. But with the gold, you don't have to be as neat because you can kind of go over the over the edges a bit because the red's already in place. So, yes, the boxes, I'll send you, I'll give you more information about that anyway. Um, but And you'll also get like a mood board to um, give you hints at what the theme is and the colour schemes. So you're going to know what the colour scheme is and what the theme of the box is, but the contents will be a surprise. And they will be um, 
there will be new items in there that are not yet released. So it won't be just like old stuff. There will be new items in there. So once that's all cured, I'm going to stamp it onto the nail, like so. Now I stamped it a bit wonky, so I had to move it, which you can do. The only downside if you move it is that the gel might smudge a little bit, which is what happened to me. But I'll show you a hack on how to take people's eyes away from that, okay? So that's in place now. I'm going to base coat over the top. So you can see there's a smudge at the top and there's a smudge at the bottom. Don't even worry about it. Honestly, I've done this so many different ways and these sorts of things do happen. So the best thing to do is to show you how to overcome it if it does happen. So base coat, cure that for 30 seconds. In with top coat. Nice even layer. Of, oh, there's a cat behind me. Hello. Nice even layer of top coat. Back in the lamp for 30 seconds. Pop, in it goes. Then I'm just going to get the other gel paints ready. I want black and white gel paint. So get that ready. Now, once my nail is out of the lamp, I'm going to take my new gems. It's disinfectable and washable, this file, which um, I, you know, I, I never really need to do because I don't work with clients. But anyways, I'm going to use the 100 grit side and really even out the surface of the nail and give it a buff. And then I will use the 180 grit side to smooth out any scratches. So I'll just do that like a crazed lunatic. Actually, I have sped it up. <laughs> It's, it's, it's at like almost two times speed. I wish I worked this fast. Holky dolky. So I'll give that a clean down. Then I'm going to take my black gel paint and that very fine detailer brush. And I'm just going to do a couple of dangly bits. That sounds awful. <laughs> that look like, I don't know, like paper chains or little chains with the beads on. You know what I mean? Those kind of things. So that something ties in. I'll never forget Gemma Lambert saying on a course I did with her, you need multiple elements. Things need to tie in. Things need to fit together. So you've got to just not think about the main piece, but what's around it, what's behind it, what's what accentuates it, what, you know, complements it. So that's what I'm going for here. My little chain, I'll flash cure that quickly. Once I've sort of sorted out the wonky bits. There we go. Oh my God, I've got, um, I've got my wax melts on. Oh, this smells so good. Right, so now I'm going to take a dotting tool and I'm going to do some little dots, like little beads. What's your favourite wax melt smell then? Ours at the moment is um, the Alina wax melts, holly and berry. Oh my goodness. But then I do love apple and cinnamon as well. It's really hard. I like the Christmas fragrances. We've got 20 more fragrances coming out. I'm not even kidding you. 20. Oh my goodness. The smells are amazing. But we are low on stock on some of the Christmas ones. So if you wanted to get them, I would grab them because there's a couple have only got like one left in stock. Right. So I've just done little dots coming down and I'm, I haven't cured it yet. I'm just dragging through the center like that. See, really, really simple. Pop it in the lamp. Now I'm going to take my dotting tool in the white and on the areas where there's smudges, I'm just going to do a couple of dots. And then I'm going to do a couple of dots somewhere else. Just dot it around. Ditty, dotty, dotty. Right. The dots on the smudges, we're going to use the fine brush and turn them into little stars. Very simple. Great little hack to cover tiny areas that, you know, when you've got a nail so beautiful and there's just this tiny area that you think, oh, just pop something cute on it. Honestly, chuck glitter on it, chuck a crystal on it, put a star on it. You can't ruin a whole nail just for something little. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? It actually looks better with that. And I think that's that rule of three that um, Gemma said to me. It's, it's having that extra visual aspect. It really brings out the bauble. So there we go. We're going to give that a full cure. When it's cured, we'll give it a top coat. And it will all come to life. Look at it. There's no way I could have freehanded that bauble. So these decals are a godsend. Your clients will just adore you. Okie dokie in the lamp. And that's that nail done. 
on the other two nails, I'm just going to do a layer of matte top coat. And we're going to do some crystal work and some glitter work. So they are simple. So you're focusing your attention on your kind of um, accent nail with the wall ball. And the other two just complement it. Obviously, most people have more than three nails. But I just wanted to give you a quick example of how I would complement the main nail. So I'm going to grab the Deck the Halls mix, which is our Christmas mix. It's got 775 crystals in, in emerald greens and golds and reds. This is our Glitter Mix Santa Sack, and this is Reindeer Food. So I'm going to be using the reds and gold crystals. I'll get the reds out first. So you get a selection of round flat backs and selections of shapes for each colour. Um, there's also an A-B selection as well, which has got some small pointy backs and some shapes. So these are the reds, they're beautiful, they're very pretty. They go with the glitter perfectly. Okie dokie, so I'm going to do a little crystal cuff. Very, very simple. Nothing too hard. Like I said, this is to get really effective salon designs that will kind of make people look and go, Oh my God, your nail tech does that. Wow. And it's cost effective because it's not taking you too much time. Oh dear. So I will get on and do that little cuff. I've also tried to put in complementing sizes um, so that you can do things with it so that it's useful. I try and make all the mixes flow and make them useful and give you in one mix a selection that you could use for loads of different designs. That's the whole point in, in a nail tech making mixes for nail techs. Otherwise, you've got to spend so much money building up a collection of crystals in order to be able to do something like this. So that's that done. I'll put it to the side quickly. I'm going to do the same with the gold, but I'm going to go slightly smaller on the gold because I, choose, I chose to use my lighter stones in that mix because there's two types of gold there. So I used the lighter gold, which goes uh, with the reindeer food glitter, and they were slightly smaller, which is absolutely fine. Um... So I'm just like poking around in there, having a little look. The adhesive I'm using is Alina Bling Bond. You can buy it if you're in the UK, but I cannot ship it outside of the UK, obviously, for legal reasons. They don't allow things like that on airy planes. So I'll do a couple more crystals either side. I think they're SS6s. They look like SS6s to me. There we go. This is a very beautiful gold, actually. It's very beautiful. Okay, I'll just pop it to the side, let it set in place. Back to the red, I'm going to apply some base coat on that nail because we're going to do a glitter ombre. So the red glitter, Santa's sack. <laughs> um, you should have thought, think, oh God, you should have seen the names I thought of for the other ones that did not make the cut. They were smutty. They were naughty. Um... It's got holographic red, metallic red. It's got a fine cut, a medium cut, and then some teeny tinsel bits. They're not, they're not annoyingly big tinsel bits. I've had mixes before when I just, there's too many massive bits in it and it just annoys me. I'm not one to kind of like a chunky mix, to be honest. I prefer finer mixes. It's just, it's just what I like really. So as you can see, I'm just using my gel brush to pat the glitter into the wet base coat. You don't have to do it this way. This glitter burnishes really well. If you were to apply red gel polish, if you look at one of my ambassadors, Michelle Moon's nails, she burnished that red glitter into the red gel polish when it was cured into the tacky layer. Oh my god, it looked amazing. It looked amazing. So you could do it that way as well. I'm just patting it into the wet gel because, you know, I'm just, well, I'm having a go. I'm having a play. That's what it's all about, isn't it? So there we are. Look at that. Just tap it in, pat it in. It's all stuck to my brush, but it comes off. Bit of isopropyl alcohol on a lint-free pad. You can clean your brush in no time. That goes in the lamp. Now, the reason I use these bags for uh, glitters is because they reseal tight. So you're never going to lose any glitter. And now we're onto the gold, and I'm going to do exactly the same thing. The difference is the reindeer food mix is a lot finer. It's ultra fine, super fine, and fine. So it's really easy to dust on and to burnish in. It's beautiful. So I shall do exactly the same with this now. Look at that, it's beautiful.
Then I am going to top coat both the nails and once they've been top coated I will buff them because sometimes glitter bits stick up and the surface is uneven and I don't want that. So once it's top coated I will buff it and then re-top coat and get that beautiful shine on it. So once they've all had their second top coat, that is the design done. Check out the website for the products, information, and you can check out our new line of wax melts. They're very beautiful. And yes, that's it. I really, really hope you like this design. I hope it inspires you to try something different with decals because now, I'm, now I've got this going, I mean, the, the possibilities are endless. So there's some beautiful nails coming up. Anyway, I'll see you in my next video. Tally bye.